Hmm, what am I gonna do today? Feels like something's missing. Almost like I'm forgetting something. What am I forgetting? Oh, uh, sorry. Didn't know anyone was in here. Awkward. No, no, yeah, there we go. <sighs> Feels better. How you doing, Sushi? What you up to? Just hanging out? <laughs> okay, Sushi, I'll see you later. Before I go, though, I should probably open some of this. There's a lot of mail in here. Allie and I opened it the other day, and there was some crazy, crazy stuff in here. Like, check this out. Like, look at this weird thing. Doesn't say who it's from, but there's a little note in here. Justin, maybe this can help your leg. And look at this. It's some sort of electrotherapy device for muscle pain. I got a couple of cranky ankles I like to call my crankles. And uh, this might actually help. So thank you. Someone also sent this giant postcard. Look at the size of this piece of mail. Marisa or Maritza, I don't know which, is sending me this postcard about her experience in national parks. She also suggests I go to the Huntington Library in Pasadena, which I've been to many times. I actually really love that place, but they won't let you film in there. Look at that, Zion National Park. I really want to go to there. Here's a letter from Jeremy that I really like. Justin, when I started watching your videos, I resented you because you were everything I wanted to be. A successful musician, I don't know about that, a traveler to all the places I want to go and living in a place not too far from me, but where I've always wanted to live. But as I've continued watching, I've realized I didn't resent you because of anything you were doing or anything about you. It was the fact that I was in such a bad place emotionally, etc., etc., etc. All so. But then he goes on to say that watching the videos has put him in a better place emotionally and mentally. And he's now pushing himself to get a job in a field he's more interested in than what he was going to do. So thank you for both saving me from a super lame cubicle future and from my own brain telling me. I'm not worth anything. That's the number one struggle, isn't it? Our own brain, not other people telling us we're worthless, that's bad enough, but then we tell ourselves we're worthless and then we can't do anything, and then we get bitter and mean towards other people. I can remember plenty of time when things were super negative for me that I felt the same way. I was like, look at this person having fun or doing whatever, or I'd be in a band and I'd see another band that I knew getting on a bigger tour than we got on a river. They don't deserve that or whatever. And then it took me a long time to learn that like, I need to stop thinking that I'm worthless and stop looking at what everybody else doesn't deserve and start working harder to get what I want. You know what I mean? So thank you for the letter, Jeremy. I like letters like that. Okay, Rachel sent me an interesting envelope. There's a letter inside. Justin, I know that you've been wanting the diamond celebration sign for a while. I couldn't get that. So instead, I made you a mini version of it. Huh? What in the world? Well, look at this creativity right here. I also sent a mini you in your signature shirt. Wow. It's me. Dude, how cool is this stuff? That reminds me, I haven't done any painting or created any crafty type stuff in a while. So Rachel, you might have just inspired me to do a little artwork of my own. All right, Justin. Enclosed is the Magic Kingdom 45th anniversary. I was there, Pin. That is so cool from Eric and Rhonda. I met them at Walt Disney World. Look at this, look at this pin right down here. I was there, and I was there, but the lines to get this particular pin were so long that I didn't get it, and they snagged one for me. Thank you. I don't actually have or keep that many Disney pins, but this one. This is one of the exceptions. Okay, this one was actually for Allie. A friend, Lavinia, sent Allie some cool postcards of Korea with all these drawings on the back. Lavinia is a pretty talented artist. She did the Sometimes Mob t-shirt and she sent her these cute little tiny socks. I actually have this envelope for Lavinia with um, some quest for positivity bracelets and whatnot that I owe her and uh, I kept forgetting to send it. So Lavinia sent us this and I forgot to send her mail. I'm a bad friend. Not even kidding. Sometimes I think I need some sort of assistant to help me do stuff like send them. What the heck is this? Oh, oh look at this. 
Death Star tree topper. Where'd that note go? Oh, there it is. Justin, here is a gift for you. You have given us countless hours of smiles and laughs. And even though we haven't met in person, you are considered one of our friends. From your friends in New Hampshire. Becky and Jason. Dude, that is so cool. I didn't even know this existed. Death Star tree topper? Wait a minute, remote control included? Press the button on the remote control to see the Death Star illuminate and hear music from Star Wars and the Imperial March. Okay, this can't wait. Okay, I gotta plug this thing in. Whoa, what the? Wow, look at that. That's awesome. The remote control takes some kind of weird battery so it's not playing music. But look at it. It glows and does wonderful things. This is the prettiest super weapon I've ever had. Okay, two more. This is why my car and my room and my storage are always full of weird stuff. People are always sending me weird rad stuff. I don't know where to put it or what to do with it. But I don't want to get rid of it because it's so awesome. Okay, what's in this giant box here? Look at this. Greg sent this. He gave me his business card and it has a little note on it that says, Keep up the great work. Look at this. Maps of the Disney parks. I didn't even know that this book existed. This looks amazing. Whoa. Check this out. Check out all these vintage maps. And it's not just maps. There's all kinds of vintage artwork in here too. Look at that. That's amazing. Ah, old Epcot Center maps. <gasps> Old school Disneyland. My Disneyland. Dude, look at that. Vintage DCA. Tom Sawyer Island. Tokyo Disney Sea. Whoa, and Euro Disneyland. I miss Disneyland Paris. This book is so stinking cool, man. This. I am pretty much going to stare at this for days and days. And Dave. It even has Shanghai already. Got another box here I gotta open. Let's see. Yeah. What's this? Oh, look at this. Finally, a new hat. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but this one was printed a little crooked, but I needed it. I couldn't send it back at the time. They're usually pretty good about that. So I had to order myself another hat from Spreadshirt. And it finally came. And look at this. I ordered myself one of these too. Sweet. Hang on a second. Here. Let me just, uh, just change my shirt. Put on this new. And then. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. You gotta get the new hat here. When I was in a band, I used to wear my own band shirts. For one thing, I printed them so they were sort of free. And uh, people would be like, you're wearing your own band shirt, bro? And I'm like, heck yeah, I like my band. Why else would I be in a band if I didn't like the band? You know what I mean? If you're not going to be a fan of your own thing, don't do the thing. Ooh, it fits, but it's, uh, it's a little itchy when it's brand new. Also, new Spreadshirt shirts always kind of smell like vinegar. Probably a good idea to wash them every time. But here's a little tip. Never dry them in a dryer. Always hang dry them. Allie taught me that, and it works. Then they all fade away, and they lashed forever. All right. One more, last but not least. What the heck, what is in here? <gasps> oh my goodness. Well, looky what we have here. Two of the greatest Disney movies of all time, Mr. Boogity and The Bride of Boogity. You cannot get these anywhere officially. So it looks like somebody, who shall remain nameless for obvious reasons, has procured me some sneaky copies. Whoa! Whoa! Look at that! It's a pop-up Mr. Boogity! But it's me! I'm Ron Boogity? Dude, these are cheesy, glorious Disney Halloween classics. Pretty sure there might be like a VHS recording of Mr. Boogity on YouTube. If you haven't seen these, go stop what you're doing and watch them. They're up there with that Tower of Terror movie, believe me. My childhood. There's no note. It does say the person's name, but I'll just say, thank you, Mr. E. Get it? Mr. E? Mr. E? See what I... You'll figure it out. All right, speaking of sparking some creativity, time to drive all the way across the city to the one place I know will have some clay for sure. How you doing back there, buddy? 
You strapped in? All right. As long as you got your seatbelt on. Okay, it's hobby time. Do, 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 do. Boy, they've got a lot of great stuff in hobby stores. Look at all these jars. How many jars do you need? That's quite a jarring sight. Ooh, check it out. Phantom Manor up there. You know, Walt Disney was a huge fan of miniatures. That was a big part of what inspired him to eventually do Disneyland. He actually used to build stuff like these dollhouses. Most people don't realize the vast majority of dollhouses are actually built by grown men. I would love to have one of those things, but build it to look all haunted and Phantom manner -y, huh? Mm. Creepy. Okay, this is what I need. Ah, clay. Clay everywhere. Color clay. Clay toon. Ooh, sparkly clay. This is what I need right here. Sculpey. Wow, they got a lot of patterns and tools for clay now. Look at all this stuff. I don't think I need any of this stuff though because I don't think I'm gonna get up to any steampunkery today. Honestly, no idea what I'm gonna do with this stuff yet. Last time I had this much clay, I made a whole bunch of little tiki's. And you know what rhymes with tiki is TP. Look at this. You can buy your own teepee here. It says $99. But I have the feeling it's actually 400 Whoa, there's actually a whole aisle with TP stuff. Weird. 400, 400, 400, 400. That's $1,200. You can never be too careful with teepees. Wow, you could get really carried away with the decor in here. There's a little something for everyone. But there's a lot here if you hate deer. If you want all the deer to be dead. This is definitely the place to get your home furnishings. Dang, they got a lot of stuff in here. Look, there's even a whole section to be Mr. Dapper. Dapper Day's actually right around the corner. I can tell you 100% no tricks that Mr. Dapper will not be there. As a matter of fact, I haven't even decided if I'm even going to film it. Because I've been going to Dapper Day for years and I've never just enjoyed it. We'll see what happens though. Plus, you never know. Somebody else could go dressed as Mr. Dapper. I heard it's a very popular Disney bound. Whoa, look at this. This is pretty weird. It's the incredible Funkins artificial carfable pumpkins. They're hollow. You can carve them. I owe Allie a new pumpkin after, you know. The incident. Harold? Oh. I wanted to visit the site of Harold's demise, but uh, there's some people camped out right here right now. It's too soon anyways. There's still pieces of him over there. You know, it's part of the natural life cycle of jack-o'-lanterns. Either they get squishy and rot, or they get smashed. But still, it's hard to accept. I know it's the circle of life and everything. Something still feels fishy about it. Did you guys hear that? Weird. It was probably nothing. Ugh. Don't want to be paranoid. All right, we'll just hop on the freeway. Oh, what a fun one. Uh. Ooh, we made it up here anyways, on top of the Disneyland parking garage. And take a look at that beautiful sunset. It's weird to be up here. First of all, because I hate heights. But also, because when I was a kid, my grandma's house was just over there on the other side of this hotel. My other grandma's house was right down there, and I lived right over here. So when I stand up here and look at all this, I'm literally looking at where I was born and raised. As a matter of fact, it's very hard to see, but right there, a little bit less, I think, than two miles away is the hospital I was born at. Not sure it's still a hospital. Right there is a tower from Knott's Berry Farm, which I lived about halfway between here and Knott's Berry Farm, where I went to high school and everything. So, 100%, this is home to me. Look at it. It has its drawbacks but it's very beautiful out here sometimes. Plus, look, we're back at Disneyland. Now here we go down, down, down the rabbit hole. Following Disney's new walking path to the parks. Oh my gosh. Someone lost their binky, their wubba nub. But whenever you lose something at a Disney park, or rather whenever you see something that's lost, like a shoe or something, you put it on top of a trash can or a wall, that way if the person comes back to look for it, they find it. They're rerouting the entire walking path. So temporarily you go out of the parking garage, then back into the parking garage. And then around this strange walkway of destiny. I am so confused. And back outside, almost to where we started. Weird. Okay, so eventually we'll be back at Disneyland. You know what? It would be better to take the monorail in. Ooh, look at our little baby monorail. It's so small and cute. <sighs> For your safety, please remain seated. Keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the cabin. Ah, oh, we're here. Now we're back at Disneyland. Look at that space age technology. Goodbye, monorail. I finally remembered 
what I forgot earlier. And it's something I can only fix at Disneyland. Ah, Disneyland is such a beautiful place. Just need to take a quick walk over to Fantasyland here. Okay. I'm back. There was something in the heraldry shop I needed. People are gonna be psyched once this shows up to my door. I don't wanna tell you what I just bought because it'll spoil the surprise. But as you can imagine, you can't buy these out of the case because they don't want you walking around Disneyland with real metal swords. So they said it'll take about four weeks to ship to me and then you'll see. Oh, you'll see. Okay, now what? Oh, we've got some other unfinished business. Oh, look at this, kinda dark. But thanks to that light over there, it's never too dark to see Grumpy's Rumpy. <laughs> Look at his little rump. Rumpy's Rumpy. Come on, Justin. You're not here for Grumpy's Rumpy. Into the world of the future we go. Because something to you, I really must show. Here it is. The unfinished business. Gluten-free pizzas. Forgot to show you guys what it looked like the other day because I was too busy eating it. Oh, that's a beautiful thing right there. Oh, hey, Allie. What's up? What's up? Did you want some uh, pizza, too? Yeah. Oh, bummer. You should have ordered one. They're really good. Really fine. Oh, great sky! Oh, all that pizza's in my belly. Oh, I'm gonna burst like a cry for Scottish freedom! Oh, oh, ah. mm. All right, I'm gonna officially say that we have done our duty. Well, we will have done right after we bust our tray. <laughs> There, now we've done our duty. Now we can go home and sleep well.